there's a lot of us that aren't satisfied with the girls. Mm -hmm. Some of some think they're too big, some think they're too small. And breast augmentation can fix that with implants that plastic surgeons use uh, around the world. And implants are not without controversy, though. You may remember one of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Yolanda Foster, who's now Yolanda Hadid again. She had her silicone implants removed after it was discovered that they leaked silicone into her body. And now experts say there's actually a better choice for breast implants. So health and beauty expert Mickey Williams is here to kind of sort it all out. And she and, brought samples. And she brought samples. <laughs> and you're going to like kind of take us through because there's a brand new product out there just arrived in Chicago that's like going to change things. Right? Yeah, it's called Ideal Implants and it truly is ideal because we never really had options before as a woman. Well, we did have options, but it didn't ever, you know, we were going for the real feel and we wanted it to feel and look natural, right? Right. So we saw women start with saline, then we saw them go on to silicone, and then we started seeing all the complications with silicone. And so when we women would go back and go to a doctor's office, they would be given options and they would be given options of a silicone. So you can feel okay, that so one, this is So this is silicone, what people were most Kids. recently using. Mm -hmm. I've then, never felt, I've never, I always see the doctors like I'm botched <laughs> and they're holding these. Mm -hmm. Okay. But feels, feel this, this is the older so version So that's a little heavy yeah. and kind heavy. of, kind but of it feels natural. viscous. Yeah. yeah. This was the old version of, of the oh. saline and you can see. It's a water we, balloon. We, if you had to make a choice between those Woo. two, <laughs> you would have gone you know, for probably a more natural right. feel, the silicone. But then this we reminds were seeing, me, sorry to interrupt uh -huh. you, but you know those slippery toys your kids have where yes. it kind of falls through your yeah. hands? Like it's, that's it's, what it feels like. It is. I mean, it's basically, definitely it's not made of silicone. So it's <laughs> got that, you know, saline, watery, waterbed Blah. feel to it. Right. But what's crazy about it is, is we started seeing all these complications. Now, they were saying silicone implants were safe. The FDA said, hey, they're safe, but they're not saying they're safe if they've ruptured. Right. And women are supposed to go every two years and get it checked out with an MRI to see if there's been any ruptures. Nobody's doing that. It's very few women are doing it, and they're finding the ruptures too late. Now, I wow. want to show you yeah. what... A, what is inside that? So ladies, I want to pick this up. This is actually a silicone implant Hold and that. I want you to see this. Look inside. Do you see that? So, so that's what happens when oh. it ruptures into your body. This is so Yolanda has been very sick. She had Lyme disease, but they also found that part of her problem was that the silicone had leaked all throughout her chest and it and was just, just staying see, there. It just <gasps> goes, right? And there's no way to remove that once well, it's leaked. Well, we saw what happened to her and that's really yeah. that's very very scary. So what did what are ideal implants? I got to get that off my hand. Uh -huh. <laughs> they're actually saline, but they're built with this beautiful kind of chamber system that doesn't it doesn't wrinkle, it doesn't crease and look at that. It the guy that created these actually told me that he built them like Russian dolls. You know how they stack upon Nesting. each other? Mm -hmm. And how that worked is that what it would do is it would create this kind of like great feel. You wouldn't have that waterbed feel like you feel. Mm -hmm. And it would have the feel of a silicone or, or like a gel. It does feel very similar. But it also has a beautiful shape. And he created the contour and the shape to look more natural. Wow. So now we have an option and it's brand new. And it, it actually, you know what, ladies, if this does by chance rupture, it's just saline. It right. just goes into your body. You'll know immediately when it ruptures because it'll be flat. Mm -hmm. And then you will have to go. And that's just saline that so when it it's does. It's saline, but yeah. it's the outer shell that has been changed. And now, because yeah, I, I, I do think you can tell on some, if it is not a, a good surgeon too, you could tell in the past too, like those yeah. didn't look real. You definitely mm -hmm. want to go to a great surgeon, but I want you guys huh. to do the field test and I'm going to turn your <laughs> head never done this quick. before. This is the first time you and me. <laughs> There's some guys so, up there that really, yes. I want you to want tell the me to go on. if okay. you feel any difference here. Okay. Just go ahead. You, well, give it a rub. Come on. There you go. You do the real thing. Do you, you feel anything different? If no, the they same. feel the same on both sides. So, so you have two different ones? That, no, that I have one is silicone and one, one is, is oh. the ideal. So before, we've never had that. We've had this as a saline. So now we've really moved up by getting these. Right. And I feel like... All the people I care about, I'm like, please go do this because you saw what you can see what happens, and I mean, it's just it's changing everything. So, and then there's the thing about silent leaks. Is that what this is? Silent ruptures. Yeah. Okay. So that's what we were talking about. Where it could okay. go into all throughout your body, and the silent and you wouldn't leak, know. You wouldn't know. And like, yes, the FDA has said that silicone is safe. They've said it, but the problem is, if it's ruptured, it is not. Got so it. unless you know, you don't know. And we're seeing that women do not go every two years and get an MRI to see if this has happened. Yeah, they've well, moved on with their lives. They've well, gotten better. And they're we've like, got okay. enough stuff to check every year. Exactly. I mean, and this was our only option before, so now there's a better. What right. are the chances of any of these rupturing in general? I mean, there's yeah, anything could happen, happen, you know, happen. but at, at least the that's the just day, like getting a saline, saline bag. Exactly. Yeah. It's like getting an IV. And you'll know immediately because it'll deflate.
Got it. So you'll know, hey, uh, look, something's different. Okay. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Mickey, so one of these we, is not like the other. Right. I have a million more questions just because it's fascinating. But if you want more information about saline implants, you can head to idealimplant.com. You can find out if they have them for other body parts, too, I'm wondering. I don't know. No, no. no just, okay. I was like, maybe for the tush. They got it for, I don't know, right? There's all kinds of places to put for there the There are a lot of places you can, a guy, you can put some implants. Right. And let's, I we're guess this is what we're starting with. with. We'll, start with we'll start with this. Oh, wait.